This is a false sense of satisfaction. And so the man addicted to PMO is living a false life. He's walking around with a false sense of accomplishment. He's not truly doing anything. He's just maintaining. Most men addicted to PMO are either still living home with their parents or if they've moved out, they have a living situation that they don't like. They're driving a car that they don't like. They are at a job that they don't like. Possibly dating a girl that they don't like. Possibly having friends that they don't like. And possibly interacting with siblings that they would rather not interact with every single day. God needs to be reawakened within man. He was born with power and wisdom, with a powerful spirit and fears no one. But his uncontrolled desire for pleasure got the best of him. <laughs> Can the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world? And he did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And I'm the best ever. Welcome to Man's Superpower. Feel your power, bro. We are not lazy. Porn has turned us into losers. Porn has hijacked our brain's reward circuitry. And so... We are now convinced that the highest form of satisfaction we can get is that of watching porn and jerking off. But that satisfaction is false. We are not lazy. We just can't find the motivation to do the regular things in life. We just can't find the interest. We just can't find it being appealing enough to plan, execute, and accomplish goals in this life. Essentially, we are fucked. We've been turned into losers. We've been turned into worthless men walking around with a false sense of satisfaction. See, naturally, we ought to feel good if we hunt, chase, kill, and bring home food to eat. We ought to feel good if we build shelter for ourselves. But now, we're feeling good by just watching a screen, watching moving pixels on a screen, and losing our essence of vital life force and we interpret that as winning in life when in fact we are losing this is a false sense of satisfaction and so the man addicted to PMO is living a false life he's walking around with a false sense of accomplishment He's not truly doing anything. He's just maintaining. Most men addicted to PMO are either still living home with their parents or if they've moved out, they have a living situation that they don't like. They're driving a car that they don't like. They are at a job that they don't like. Possibly dating a girl that they don't like. Possibly having friends that they don't like and possibly interacting with siblings that they would rather not interact with 
every single day. But guess what? They interact with them by necessity because they need them. So those men can't find the motivation, the joy of winning strong enough to go out there, get a better job so they can drive a better car, so they can have a better living situation, so they can feel good about themselves. Because porn delivers such high levels of dopamine and the release of endorphins that creates this false sense of joy, this false euphoria in you. It took me a minute to realize that, oh snap, I am operating on a false sense of satisfaction. I am operating on a sense that I have accomplished something big and I feel good about it. After every PMO session, I would feel so elevated. I would feel so good that I have just accomplished something big. I just won the lottery. I just closed a big deal. I just received a big payoff. Except that payoff was false. Except that I just instead lost my vital life force and that I was going to pay for it the hours that follow, the days that follow with more lethargy, more laziness, more depression, more discouragement, which in turn will get me back into watching porn and further depleting my life force. That's where the true mess of porn is you're walking around like a king but you're nobody you're walking around like you have done something but you haven't done anything your life stands still hell some people will argue that your life has been regressing because nothing in the universe stands still Everything by necessity necessity has to move, has to go up and down, in and out. And so if your life is not advancing, where well, it is regressing, it is going backwards. Porn has turned us into losers. Let's talk about the obstacle is the way. Where I ask the question, what if you could turn the curse of your addiction into your greatest blessing. This is mental alchemy, the science of transmutation, the process of turning seemingly worthless, undesirable conditions, substances, and situations into more desirable ones. This is the process known in ancient times as turning lead into gold, the alchemy of turning base metals, worthless metals, into most precious ones, like lead into gold. You may have heard in the Bible that Jesus turned water into wine. Yeah, water is a necessity of life. Water is good, just like lead. We can use them, but they're not as valuable as wine, or at least we will not pay as much for them as wine. We will not draw more attention to water than we could to wine. At any given moment, unless you are uh, dehydrated, if I offered you a glass of water and a glass of wine, most likely you will choose that wine, baby. Because in that moment, it's more valuable. So we can turn something regular, seemingly not that appealing, like water, into wine, something very appealing. This is the process of transmutation. And the alchemists, the masters of the science of mind, also have applied 
this process to situations where you can turn an undesirable situation. In this case, an addiction into a desirable one. PMO could become the ticket to your destiny. It could become the door that leads you into your real life. Rediscover the joy of winning is one thing you can do. You can rediscover how to feel good about accomplishing the simple tasks in life, about accomplishing a simple goal that satisfies your soul. You can feel good about that. You can begin to take baby steps into accomplishing small goals for yourself that make you feel good about your life. You are on the right path. You are on the right journey. The journey of self-discovery. The journey of self-love. The journey of self-empowerment. Stay on this journey.